And Sprouts Farmers Market has been open for just a few weeks in Tyler, but today a group of roughly 20 protesters were outside the facility saying that Sprouts discriminated against the disabled. CBS 19's Matt Lackert shares why they were there. Becky Martin and her daughter Rebecca aren't from Tyler. Originally from Houston, they were in town visiting family when they decided to visit Sprouts. Grandma and I had our masks on and we were headed into Sprouts when an employee who was out in the parking lot came running to us before we ever got to the door and told us we couldn't go in unless Rebecca put on a mask. Rebecca Martin is 18 years old and has Down syndrome. Becky says her daughter has the mind of a two-year-old and is not able to wear a mask. Well, I explained that, you know, I understand we have our masks on, but she fits in the governor's exceptions uh, to the mask mandate. Still, Sprouts' policy requires a mask while shopping. All individuals over the age of two to wear face coverings while shopping in the store. The policy follows CDC recommendations and is intended to promote health and safety. The family story has spread on social media. Kristen Bentley, the founder of the Texas Freedom Coalition, saw it and organized today's protest to boycott Sprouts. When I saw that story, I immediately decided that we should protest Sprouts and their policy, their corporate policy, of excluding people with disabilities in their store who cannot wear a mask. Sprouts offered the Martin family free personal shopping to accommodate them, so they would not have to come into the store. Alternative shopping options are provided to customers as a reasonable accommodation. We've got you covered East Texas. Matt Lackeritz, CBS 19. You can read Sprout's full statement about the incident on CBS19.tv.